Hello everyone, this is Zook and today I'm bringing you a new drawing slash painting video. This one is going to be a random character I came up with. Uh, about four days ago I started painting something after I posted the the, draw, the weapon drawing video. And um, two days later, I spent two days on that thing, it turned out like shit. Like it wasn't super bad, but it was nothing that I would consider as a show of progress. So I decided to punish myself by remaking the entire character into something more detailed and go through with it, like force myself to to draw for hours on end. And in the end, I came up with this, which took about eight hours or something ridiculous, obviously more than it should in its current state, because it's not nowhere near as good as what other people make, but I'm still starting out. So, But yes, I, I worked on this for eight hours, and in the end, it came out okay. It's something that I would deem as... Um, a reasonable next step in progress. See, that's the that's the only thing, the only reason I did this. I cannot stand the notion of regressing. Like if I make something decent looking, and then I make something that looks like, like a newbie made it, like I'm just starting out, then I just get really frustrated, and I can't handle that. <laughs> it's a really bad, uh, and at the same time, kind of good trade, I guess, because I need to force myself to progress. If I don't progress, then I, I lose hope and abandon the whole thing, and I don't want to abandon this again, because it wouldn't be the first time I've abandoned uh, trying to learn digital painting, so. But yes, this character is, uh, I sketched it out on a piece of paper and then scanned it and re retraced it in Photoshop and whatnot. It's supposed to be a sort of a slaver, of course a fantasy character, an orc, orcish kind of slave master with a whip and a weapon. It's, uh, it's not connected to absolutely anything, it's just something that I scribbled down while I was watching some series and decided to turn it into my next project for digital painting. But yeah, something like this in the hands of a, someone who's mastered um, art on a digital tablet would take about two, three hours maybe, maximum four. I mean, for me, something like this on paper would take about two hours. So on a tablet, it's obviously a completely different situation. But it's uh, it's okay. It's okay for my current state, considering it's like the fourth thing I've ever drawn on a digital tablet. I wouldn't say that <clears throat> it's too bad. So, maybe I'm just biased. I've been staring at it for eight hours. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking, but uh, oh well, I'll leave it in your hands. So, what else has been going on? Well, I've uh, I've gone to the gym five times a week for the past two weeks. This, well, this will be the fourth time this week, and tomorrow will be the fifth, obviously. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, it's a it's a big change in my life, and I gotta say, I, I know I'm noticing a lot of progress. You know, I'm lifting more and more every time, and I can't wait to get back to where I was before. And it's uh, it's a pretty good feeling knowing that I finally passed that stage where I I didn't want to get out of the house because that was the problem to begin with. When I get too fat, uh, it's like I don't want to leave the house. It's really annoying to to think about the idea of getting seen by people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I realize that. I fully realize that. But at the same time, waking up in the morning and thinking, oh, I have to do this today. No, I don't want to. I'm not going to do this at all. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to watch something. I'm going to eat my food and play my games and whatever. And that went on for, like, a, a long time. So it's just, it has to do a lot to do with where I am right now. Because when I'm in America, I, have, I don't have that problem. It's like over there, I want to get out of the house all the time and go see stuff and go to stores and what. I don't care. Mostly because there are way, way, way more fat people on the street than in Romania. And, you know, people are generally more accepting. They're raised to be more accepting of people that are different from them. While in Romania, there's, you know, it's kind of like Russia. It's not as bad as Russia, but it's it's almost like that where anyone that's somewhat different or has a defect is like stands out like a sore thumb everyone just looks at him and there's no notion of accepting or being nice it's just like oh look at the fat ass you know so it's it's more annoying and i even though that doesn't happen to me really because i can probably beat most people that would pick on me uh i'm i'm pretty big and pretty strong so it's not something that happens to me per se, but the the notion that people are like that is is what gets to me, and I don't wanna I don't wanna get out. It's a sort of a social anxiety slash agoraphobia. But anyway, regardless, I'm talking about random shit. So yes, let's talk about the drawing some more. Well, I've been watching a lot of tutorials, trying to absorb knowledge, and 
Um, it works to a certain extent. I've uh, I keep forgetting that I can make new layers and mess with the the lighting some more, and that's something that I need to make a habit out of with a soft brush. You know, a lot of people do that, make new layers, and then uh, adjust the lighting with a soft brush, and then erase what they don't want to overlap and whatnot. So that's one thing that I need to to work on some more. But it's fun. You know, it's uh, usually when I draw for like two, three hours, I get a headache. Uh, but when I'm drawing on a tablet, it never happens, which is pretty cool. And it's it's more comfortable for my back and for my posture to, to be doing this on a tablet. But I am, uh, I am very thankful to Jenna Bain. She's the one that gave me this tablet as a present, and she's the one that's uh, very supportive about my practicing on it because she wants me to get a job at one of these games companies eventually as a concept designer, and that would be pretty awesome. I gotta say, you know, that's what I'm working for. I'm working towards having that security that I have a set of skills developed well enough to be able to, you know, get a company to pay for my visa or. Uh, you know, get a company to hire me and move me overseas. You know, it's awesome knowing that eventually you can probably develop those skills to the extent that you can have this company be on their knees for you. It's pretty cool. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good objective to work towards. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know, I de I decided since I'm I'm starting to take care of my health some more that I need to develop these skills that I've been putting off. You know, I'm almost 28 years old. And there are certain things that I've wanted to do for a long time and haven't had the opportunity, one of them being this. So, and the other one is losing weight. So I'm doing both right now, and it feels nice. It's definitely a, a morale booster, and uh, I'm trying to not fall back into the whole, oh, it's going to take so much time and so much sacrifice. and what, Because once you start thinking like that, then it's over. Like You slowly start regressing, and then you end up exactly where you left and I can't have that anymore. <laughs> Not when I'm almost 30 years old, fuck's sake. I'm like halfway through my life already. So I need to get my ass in the gear and, uh, and start achieving some objectives, some major life objectives. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for listening to my rambles and for watching my shitty video. Please rate it if you did like it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.